Welcome, Guardian. Today I'm gonna go over the Forbearance, which is a arc wave frame grenade launcher that can be obtained from the Val the Disciple raid. And if you get your hands on five red borders and finish their deep sight resonance, you can unlock this weapon's pattern and craft your own. For the longest while, I slept on wave frames, but Forbearance made me fall in love with them that I might have to go craft myself an explosive personality, but that's for another video. Now, this weapon has seven perks in both columns three and four with some real unique combinations. In columns three, the perks that stand out to me the most for PvE would be Genesis, Unrelenting, Stats for All, an ambitious assassin. In column four, though, you can't go wrong with any of them. They're all really good. Uh, bait and switch might be the only one that's kind of iffy on using, practically. But other than that, they're all really good. And you can't really beat them. The main thing I want to talk about is the perk combinations overall and I got four of them that I want to talk about or at least tell you guys about. First one is Genesis and Turnabout. You break a shield on an enemy, you get an overshield because of Turnabout and you get a shot back into your magazine thanks to Genesis. The next one isn't really that synergistic but Unrelenting and Rampage. It just works very well together for the simple fact that multi-kills is giving your health back and as you're getting the kills, your Rampage starts stacking, therefore giving you more damage overall. So this is another combination I suggest looking into or trying to get overall. We're going to talk about Stats for All and One for All because both of them have the same exact requirement to activate their perks. Hit three enemies in quick succession and stats for all will be giving you increased handling, increased stability, reload, and range, which range doesn't matter because it's a grenade launcher. And one for all is going to give you a damage buff. They're both about 10 seconds. Together they work very, very, very well. Lastly, the perk combination I went with and I decided to craft and is also the gameplay that you have been seeing in the beginning of the video and which you will be seeing at the end of the video is Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction. With this combination, it just works very well because you get a kill, chain reaction causes it to nuke an area doing damage to anything around it. And as long as you get that initial kill, when you reload, it's going to put two shots in the magazine. Honestly, looking over all these perks, there are plenty of different roles you can go with. And you don't really even need to craft it. You could probably just get a random one, and the combination will probably work. But I wanted to give you some suggestions, and just bring this weapon up in general, because I've been having a blast with it. Literally. Now, that's all I really got on the weapon, but I do have one question for you guys. If you want to actually see gameplay of all the roles I suggest in future videos, like I did with the Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction roll, please let me know in the comments below. It's just crafting them and getting the materials to craft them and put each one of these rolls on them individually to show you gameplay of them can be a bit overwhelming. But either way, that is all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.